goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. So, I want to bring up the topic I saw online, right? And see what y'all think about it or whatever. Uh, they, I saw this on a meme on a post and it said you had 24 hours to make a decision on your reparations or whatever. So, they gave up these four cho choices. And me, I'm, I'm going at it as like, all right, so say if we had longer than 24 hours to make a decision, what would be like, what like, because I'm still kind of debating over it. So I mm -hmm. wanted to see what y'all would think about it. So um, the first one for reparations was federal um, federal tax exemption. Um, the second one was wiped out all current debt. The third one was lump sum reimbursement for all the federal taxes you have paid. And then... The fourth is 50% of all taxes paid by deceased male ancestors. And like, when I look at them, I'm like, really, this doesn't seem like this equate to 40 acres and a mule with inflation, <laughs> pretty much. But, <coughs> excuse me. But if um, I was like, if it was a way, if I could, if it was to pick one of these, what would be the one to help elevate a person the most? I think it's going to be individual based because depending on mm -hmm. who you are and where you at financially, it's going to depict like what you would choose. Mm -hmm. I think for me, it'll definitely be to be debt free. If, if all of my debt was wiped clean today, I'd be rich in no time. Like I, when you're talking about how much expendable income I have that goes toward paying off student loans, old credit card loans, and um, just little small revolving debts, like old medical bills that I didn't realize I even had. <clears throat> I had. I got hit with an ambulance bill about a month ago that was from back at Mallory when I first moved into Mallory. Wow. So when I tell you like the amount of debt that's actually that's out there like, that's affecting you, like even the debt years ago. Right. But those little things that I don't know about are actually on my credit report and are affecting my credit score, which affects my ability to then get other financial opportunities. So I feel like either hold on, what was the other three opportunities again? Um <laughs> other than the, the debt? federal tax exemption. Mm -hmm. uh, a lump sum reimbursement for all the federal taxes you paid so far. It would be then, the it would be the ancestors, all of the male ancestors, ancestors. taxes that they paid fifty the, percent of that. It would be that or tax or uh, wipe away my debt. But I feel like currently it would be wiping away my debt. In about two years, I would say the lump sum of those that fifty percent. That's gonna be. It ain't gonna be no millions necessarily. That ain't mm -hmm. no guarantee, but it would definitely be enough hundreds of thousands that I could do something. I got a lot of male ancestors. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I think um I think the for the first one, the federal tax exemption, I think you gotta be at a certain tax bracket for that to be like yeah, I don't need that affordable either. for you or whatever. Like yeah. if you like in the millions or whatever, uh -uh, pretty I don't much. Need, I, don't need it there. I don't need it there. I don't need it yeah. there. Yeah, I don't so, need that in, man. I don't need either. And I need to see, like the, I need to see the amount of the last two of the lump, like what federal. Yeah. I just one, I just want to see what, how much I paid to the federal government so far, and That's then, true. and then for idea of like what? Yeah, like how much am I giving to y'all, and how much y'all actually giving? How much I'm giving to y'all for y'all to do such of a fuck up job? <laughs> pretty much what's your so, salary because you suck because if i fuck up at my job i'm gonna be reprimanded or worse or whatever y'all fuck up at your job y'all take a whole month off <laughs> a whole a whole month off and you get a pay raise each month with These security are also facts 
and free health care. So, yeah, fuck government. Anyway, um, and then I just want to see how much I would get through my male ancestors. That would make my final decision because if it's enough that I can build something and then take away my debt, and I'm going to, you know, do that, but I'm going for that. But what say you face? Because I see, I heard you. So I'll say. If the decision, if the decision had to be made, it's not going to be on a person to person decision. The government going to make it on a more wide scale. So the closest financial decision that we made to go as closest to what was promised plus inflation will be 50% of all the tax revenue paid um, by all the ancestors. Because if you look at our ancestors and the amount of time they put in working, you feel me, and the amount of time that tax revenue was taken out of that money and the rate of tax revenue that was taken out of that money being how much they were getting ripped off by taxes, mm-hmm. they, they paid a whole lot in the taxes. And depending on how many male descendants you've had since slavery being this is 2021, you may be looking at a, a good lump sum of money, you feel me, on an individual basis then as far as the money you just receive. But out of all the options, to me, that, that'll be the, the, the biggest financial gain because you're looking at a multitude of people and the tax revenue they paid in a lifetime. You're getting half mm-hmm. of everything per person. You're not getting half of everything in, all all to added to, up together, you feel me? If you're getting half of everything each one of them paid, that's a whole different number. Now, right. if they're adding everything up and you just give you half of that, but ah, right, you just get half of this whole month of, nah. Give me half of everything he pay, everything he pay, because I know how y'all going to do. Y'all going to add that up. Y'all going to tax that big number. Then y'all going to give me half. No, give me everything half, 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 half. You feel me? So I, got what you're I think that's the, Instead of I think that's the lump sum, tax the individual lump sum. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I feel that's the, the, the best financial decision. Um based on how the government would would choose because they're going to choose on all, right, all of them going to get this and this is how we're going to choose all right, this decision based on this phone we're just going to give them this one now if it was based on the individual basis and each person could choose then it's based off the person's lifestyle and what they're actually looking for and want. some people are not concerned with money so <clears> they're going to they gonna be like Look, shit, as long as I'm good cool but with choosing the option that brings you the most money, you not only set yourself up for financial success for the rest of your life, but with the correct spending and financial literacy, you possibly set up future generations as well. Yeah. Because that with that lump sum of money coming, depending on how old you are, if you're in your 40s and 50s right now, you get that lump sum of money, it ain't with so much you're going to do with it. You feel me like? No, nah, that's real. You, it, that's real. You feel me like? It ain't so much, but if you get that lump sum of money like right now and you in your 20s, you're going to go dumb with it. You feel me? Especially True. if you ain't got no family. Makes sense. But you, you, got, you got a family, you get that money, you're looking at it like, bet, I got this money. I can, I, can, I, I, I can break the chain now. I can break all the cycles. I got, I got the money to do it. They, they gave me the reparations. I'm going to do what it was for. I'm going to set up the family. Uh-huh. This is this, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is this. And I got this for the rest of my life. Boom. We all said, go live. Boom. That's what it's for. That's what that's for. Not to get the money and put it right back into the this, this system. Mm-hmm. Because you have that 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 percent of the popula- population is like, all right, I'm going to choose this just to get this quick money. And I'm gonna go ball out real quick. Watch this. I'm gonna yep. Shit out. Yep. Watch I'm rich, I'm bitch. Get, I'm gonna give me a new wardrobe. I'm gonna give me two new whips. I'm gonna get these chains. Watch, watch. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna go sit, clean up these flosses. But all y'all got the same shit. All y'all doing the same shit. If I'm like, invest. If you gonna get this money, get this money, do something real with it. Invest. Don't buy cars. Cars appreciate with value as soon as you drop it a lot. So buy nice. Art. By land, feel me? Yes. With the population growing, every bit of vacant lots are becoming for sale. 
as soon as I get this lump sum of money I'm looking for, I'm going to buy this plot of land in Petersburg and just sit on it. That's it. I'm not going to build shit on it. I'm going to sit on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> because why? Because <clears throat> people are moving in. Somebody else is going to want that land and they're going to have to pay yep. me for that land. Cool. The money you pay me, I'm going to go get two more plots of land and I'm going to sit on those two plots of land. <laughs> That's it. Because uh-huh. it's all a game. Uh-huh. It's all a game. You know, and, and, that- and with this, I'm teaching a skill and I'm also building wealth and building for the di- the dynasty growing up behind me. That's it. That's what that money be for. If I got reparation type money and I'm going this last option, shit, I'm buying a multitude of acres and a multitude of states. <clears throat> man, I'm going to be real with you, man. If I get that big type of money like that and this big, like the way you talking, like big, 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 mm. uh, I ain't doing shit for nobody. Um, I'm going to have money to save us for my son when he grow up, you feel me? But uh, at the end of the day, I'm about to be lamping. I'm retiring, I'm traveling, and I ain't doing shit else. Mm-hmm. Don't ask no about, like, I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and slide off. You know, I'm going to look out for the family real quick. But for the most part, it's going to be pretty chill wheel for the rest of my life. I ain't looking to do no whole lot of, I probably, I ain't going to, like, I, w- I would like to think that I would be like, oh, I'm going to be small with my money. I'm going to invest in this stuff. It's going to be a love sum in my son's account that's going to be appreciated with interest. But um, other than that, you can cancel that. Nah, boss. Nah, boss. True. True. Yeah, man. Uh, it'll be great if it happened in my lifetime. It sure would. And it would be that much more awesome if it could be the final option that the government chooses to give back to the African American community. Because not only have we done so much, we continue to do so much and influence everything American. So, I mean, right. just give us some back. Every other culture has rep- has received their reparations. The Jews me and my money. Let me get my money. So like, I, hated to be, I hated to be all about money, but damn, give me my 40 acres and a mule. I know what 40 acres really is. I know what right now in Virginia, I could do with 40 acres. You feel me? Like, that's bread right there. <laughs> you feel me? i take the fucking 40 acres and a mule right now. <laughs> Shit. I know what I can do with 40 acres and a mule. You feel me? In Virginia, marijuana is legal. What? I'm renting off yeah, acres of my land for place. growing. Yeah, I was gonna say that's you feel me? I'm renting place. off acres. You know how many growers? Do? I'm renting off acres right now. What? That's what I'll be doing. Renting off acres. Renting acres for marijuana growers. Renting off acres. Yeah, come grow. <laughs> Just give me this amount of money a month. To grow on your life. There you and go. Right. Kind of history. Yep. Um, I, I got 40 um, acres. Face <laughs> out there about to have some sharecroppers. <laughs> Come on, man. You see me? America was built on crops. We still, the, 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 the farmers, <laughs> the farmers influence America. So it's like, I hate to be on some political shit, but without the farmers of America, we wouldn't really have shit. <laughs> like, the industrial motherfuckers, the farmers, the motherfuckers are the, the backbone of America. You feel me? Yeah. Without that industry, we wouldn't I understand have what you said. You feel me? You feel me? So uh-huh. I don't mind being part of I I'd be a modern day farmer with marijuana. I'd do that shit. Give my 40 acres in a mule. But if the option's up there for that last Hey, don't give me no money, goddamn mule. That's another mouth to feed, man. <laughs> Just give me the 40 acres. You know, with inflation, that you might be, you know, meal, trucks. You know, don't be giving me no more dependents. You got 40 acres of grass. You give me the 40 acres and you all your ass off. Go eat that grass. You got 40 acres. So right now, that could be a couple of trucks, a couple of Mack trucks to push whatever you're farming out into. The, you know? Man, I don't give a damn. What about no trucks? Don't give me no damn mule. <laughs> I know I want no goddamn mule. I don't want no burrow. I don't want no donkey. I want no ass. I'm gonna say it. If the option up there for that last that option, for fifty percent of all the taxes, I definitely take that over the forty acres of the mule. Give me the bread if I have the option. 
But me if three. I got to settle for the 40 acres in a, in 40 acres in a modern day mule, which would be a, a bulldozer or a truck and all that other new farm equipment Give they got. I'll take a truck or a car. Shit. All that new farm equipment they got. I'll take that shit. Be mad okay, as hell. I, I got, got a plan bulldozer. for the land already. I got plans for that land already. Shit, go knock some buildings down. <coughs> I ain't gonna do nothing good with no bulldozer. So we, yeah. So we in agreement. Um. So, um, government. Uh, you heard our takes on um reparation or reparations. I can't even don't say. Don't give it. us no bulldozer, and we don't want, we don't want no goddamn mules, burrows, asses, or donkeys. So, um, so to say it clearly, so the government will understand when it comes to these choices of federal tax exemption, wipe out cr current debt, um, a lump sum of all the federal taxes we paid so far and 50% of all the taxes paid by deceased male ancestors. Um, um, for the last one, if you change that to 100% and put all of that on the list, that's what we want, all, all four of them in the reparations. So what, what and no. We don't want no donkey, no. We don't want no burrow, no. We no. don't want no ass and no. We no. want no damn mules. I mean, that was a car or I'm something. Don't ass. give us no I, bullshit I, with our 40 acres. Female. That's, that's that. That's that. I want the human female ass, not no animal donkey. Nigga, what? <laughs> you said you don't want no ass. Need something substantial <laughs> that will make that. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I don't want no female ass neither. I keep taking my wife's vagina. I'm good. Well, that's ass. what you. I don't want, want no asshole. I, I don't want no new I don't want no no turd swirl. I don't want no goddamn Twizzler. I don't want no whatever you call it. I don't want none of that. I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm good on all nah, poo base origins. Or something substantial that can make some definite change. That Kutnu. And yes, I did say give <laughs> because once I once again, you should give. Give me some old. old. Give me some old. Hey, what you old, Santa? Old. Give me some old. 